Hi. Well, since this is my first in-person video here on YouTube, let me introduce myself. My name is Troy, and I have some good news. I have finally completed uh, the Pulse Width Modulator that I posted uh, some months ago here on YouTube. And uh, this is the finished product, well, at least the board. And um, I'm going to go over it a little bit with you. As I said or mentioned in the original uh, video, this is not your everyday pulse width modulator. Uh, qu uh, quality wise, as far as uh, performance, um, one thing uh, I will mention is that all of the uh, components uh, are surface mount, with the exception of the LM324 op amp but the socket which it sits on is surface mount okay but everything else is surface mount even the uh, diodes the uh, current sensing resistor here uh, the electrolytic capacitors the non-polarized capacitors everything uh, the resistors uh, their tolerance uh, rating is one percent the non-polarized capacitors five percent and the electrolytic capacitors ten percent is you know lowest low ESR also on those I had to make an, um, a small change from the original uh, design I had to move these uh, electrolytic capacitors back this way because when the board is inside the chassis this will be mounted towards the back plate where the connections are made and one of the um, capacitors was preventing the board from sliding all the way in also in the original design it had two MOSFETs, two surface mount MOSFETs here. Uh, I uh, changed uh, and instead I'm using this one uh, MOSFET here and you can see how it's bent and it's coming through the board and soldered right there. Uh, I went with this instead because it has a much higher power dissipation uh, ratio rating I'm sorry uh, and that is uh, 830 watts. It outputs up to 430 amps pulse and uh, up to 160 amps continuous. And um, it's not your everyday MOSFET. A lot of the ones you're used to seeing probably runs somewhere in the $2 ranges. This bad boy here costs about a little over 8 bucks. And the way it all fits into the uh, chassis and this is a extruded aluminum heat sink chassis slides in like that you can see where this hole is pre-drilled right there and then of course this mounting screw mounting bolt goes right through the MOSFET and then a uh, washer lock washer that and uh, and secures it in place right there and then we have the um, oh, one thing I should mention, um, of course, with all that, we have this insulator here that will be in between the MOSFET and the chassis, uh, of course, because the metal uh, portion here at the bottom is actually the drain, and you don't want that to come, or link to the drain pin, you don't want that to come in contact with the chassis. And uh, this is the back plate. Uh, this here... Uh, is where the uh, positive from the battery and positive from the cell will, will make their connection. And um, you can't get it wrong because both are uh, connected because this is just basically a piece of brass threaded rod that's been bent. And uh, basically I'm going to use this uh, as a shunt to, for the uh, amp meter that will be built into uh, this uh, uh, pulse width modulator and then of course the uh, uh, cell negative will be here and um, negative from the battery will be there and uh, on the face plate if you refer to the original um, uh, video you can get a look at what the face plate is going to look like it basically will have a row of LEDs um, I will be actually making the meter uh, circuits for the amp meter uh, the um, frequency meter and the duty cycle meter and basically for the duty cycle meter uh, it's just I'm using a uh, complementary 
uh, comparator and I will take the um, the uh, pulse signal from the drain and I will basically convert that to a differential voltage and, and then use the op amp to convert it to just a single voltage and uh, I will be at a meter uh, to measure the duty cycle. With the frequency I'm going to convert the frequency to a voltage and then I'll be able to um, measure that. And now let me hook it up and just show you it in action here. Connections are pretty simple and when you put this uh, I will be making this available as a do-it-yourself kit and you will see it's very easy to put together because all my traces are on the top of the board nothing on the bottom um, the only drilling you would have to, to do is for the three connecting connectors here and that's it everything else will be uh, um, um, soldered right to the top of the board and you can either hand solder it and I'll show you in the video where it's very easy or you can use a toaster oven uh, and use the reflow soldering method which is much easier and uh, there are some videos um, covering that reflow soldering with, with use of a toaster oven if you want to refer to some of those but I plan to have a video showing both methods by next week uh, so we're all hooked up here okay and let's fire up and here we go now the first thing I'm going to do I've got the current cut pretty f low down so I'm going to turn that up a bit uh, let's see here let's see there we go okay and now the duty cycle you will see Okay, you see the fan starts to move there. And as I turn it up, it really starts to get going. Yeah. And for frequency, you can actually hear the frequency as I'm adjusting it go up in pitch. And this particular fan, of course, as you as you increase the frequency, the motor speed actually slows down. And as you lower the frequency, it starts to speed up. And uh, uh, I will also. I will be offering this in a uh, as a complete completed unit and um, uh, in probably about another two weeks I will have it available uh, with digital uh, controls with tactile switches or buttons uh, now these um, these trimmers are the real nice ones where they're, they're chassis mount you can see the the uh, the mounting nut right there so they'll go right onto the faceplate you don't have to uh, use your uh, your adjustment tool you don't have to stick it through a hole in, into to the uh, faceplate uh, it'll be mounted right on the surface of the faceplate and um, I think that's going to do it for now and uh, I will be completed with uh, everything with mounting this in, in the uh, in its chassis uh, very soon, uh, we'll try to have that done by next week. Thank you, and bye.